फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर राज मल्होत्रा लर्नेड सीनियर काउंसिल अपीयरिंग ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द पिलांट वुड सबमिट दैट द डिवीजन बेंच ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट कमिटिड अ सीरियस एरर इन पासिंग द इम्प्यून्ड जजमेंट इन सो फार एज इट फेल्ड टू टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ होल्डिंग अ फिजिकल टेस्ट बिफोर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द सिलेक्ट लिस्ट द लर्नेड काउंसिल अर्ज दैट आर्बिट्रेरीनेस ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ द सिलेक्शन कमेटी इज अपारेंट फ्रॉम द फैक्ट दैट द ऑर्डर ऑफ होल्डिंग टेस्ट वॉज पुस्ट टू द बैकग्राउंड इट वॉज फर्दर मोर सबमिटिड दैट द डिविजन बेंच ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट डिड नोट असाइन सफिशियंट एंड कोजेंट रीजन्स फॉर इंटरफेयरिंग विद द वेल कंसिडर्ड जजमेंट of the learned single judge and proceeded to modify the same without any application of mind our attention was moreover drawn to the fact that the purported reasons for modification which were enumerated in paragraph 12 of the impugned judgment really contain the statement of facts and thus the same is wholly unsustainable mr p k goswami learned senior counsel appearing on behalf of the private respondents on the other hand would contend that the appellant in the facts and circumstances of this case must be held to be a stop and precluded from raising any contention with regard to the validity or otherwise of the procedure for selection adopted by the selection committee as he had participated in the selection process without any demur whatsoever it is stated that pursuant thereto and in furtherance thereof only the said respondent had been appointed and had been working since then our attention was furthermore drawn to the fact that against the order of the learned single judge a writ appeal had been filed by him which is pending indisputably in the advertisement the candidates were required not only to qualify in the written test but also the physical ability test a plain reading of the advertisement clearly goes to show that the interview was to be conducted only after holding of the said two tests in tune with the said requirements only the candidates were asked to appear in the written test on 26 april 1998 and in the physical test on 28th april 1998 there can not however be any doubt whatsoever that a selection committee in a given situation may lay down a procedure for the purpose of short listing the candidates but that does not mean that for the said purpose the order of holding a requisite test would be changed in terms of a decision which was taken on 7th april 1999 the selection committee thought to take interview prior to holding of the physical ability test physical ability test keeping in view the nature of the job required to be performed by the candidates was an extremely important one passing in the physical ability test is a sine qua non for selection of the candidates in the post of sub inspector of police it was indeed a competitive test and the merit list should have been prepared not only on the basis of the written test and interview but also the physical ability test 
the selection committee in our opinion committed a serious error in changing the order of holding the test the learned single judge therefore was correct in arriving at a conclusion that physical ability test should have been held prior to holding of the interview stop